Here are the instructions for setting up your cell phone for remote viewing of your security cameras. This only works for cell phones and uh, tablets. This is not for PCs. First thing you want to do is download the NVMS 7000 application. You can find that on the Google Play Store or on the Apple Store. And uh, I believe it's free for all users. So once you uh, have that on your phone, first thing you want to do is while you're connected to the uh, Wi-Fi inside your business, not outside, you must be in your building. Connect to your Wi-Fi, open an internet browser, and go to whatsmyip.org. And once you go there, you're going to find this number. And you want to jot down that number, write it down somewhere, because we're going to need it in a few minutes. Okay? So once you have that, you can close out your browser again. We're going to open up the MVMS 7000 uh, application. First thing we're going to do is go up here to the right. Uh, actually, no, we're going to go up here and we're going to click on devices. Over here, top right, we're going to click on the uh, little plus key there and we're going to select manual adding. Okay, here's where you can type in whatever you'd like to call uh, the location, maybe um, main office, whatever you want to call it. Okay, here's where you're going to type in your uh, IP address. That was the address that we found on the website, uh, whatsmyip.org. So we're going to type in our IP address, 95114. Okay. Uh, after that, we're going to select port 8000. It usually comes up by default. Here you're going to use your username and password. If uh, you haven't changed it, the default username and password is uh, admin, no caps. And your password should be 12345. It may also be 123456. Uh, again, unless you uh, instructed us to change it at the uh, time of installation. Now it's very important that you go up here and you click save by uh, hitting the little floppy drive here. Okay, now you may get a warning that your uh, password's not as uh, secure as it should be, but once that's saved, you can go down here and click live view. Uh, first, by the way, the other thing you want to do once this is set up is turn the Wi Fi off because you want to be on your uh, cell data service while viewing uh, with these settings. And there's your cameras. Now, some of the things you can do is you can select the uh, boxes down here to change the view. If you want four cameras or one camera view, you can always double click the camera to blow it up. First thing I like to do is uh, choose the little monitor here and click clear and it clears up the picture even more so than fluent. Uh, you can briefly make uh, recordings to your cell phone. I don't recommend you do this all the time, but if you see something going on and you feel a need to record it, you could press this button right here and you'll see up here you have an R that shows a recording. And when you're done, you can uh, double click the, uh, the circle again. You can also take a snapshot and that will save on your cell phone as well. Um, one other feature I like to show people is the magnifying glass down here. When you do that, you'll be able to pinch and zoom the cameras however you like. Okay? And then just remember you have to turn these settings back off if you want to move back over to something else. If there's something blue down here, you need to select it to turn it off. Um, one last thing you can do is you go up here to the squares and you can do um, remote playback. Now this is a little cumbersome on a cell phone which is why I recommend you doing it at your office uh, with the DVR. But by hitting uh, the remote and then choosing the plus here you select your time and date. This is arranged from the 19th to the 22nd. I click on the main office and let's say I want to see the front camera and you'll see down here the date, time, 
and these blue indications are all the uh, times that the camera sensed motion. I can blow this up by the way and if I wanted to jump ahead I can just slide this over and see um, that this is the 19th at uh, 15.10 which is 3.10 p.m. I can slide ahead and it's now at uh, 17.55. So that gives you an example of some things you can do uh, to uh, review past events. That should get you through everything you need to do for the um, application. If you have any questions, feel free to check our office at 856-232-1000. Uh, Again, our office phone number is 856-232-1000. You can also email us with questions at info at tgcommunications.net. Thank you.